My favorite musician and guitarist of all time is Jack White of the White Stripes, the Dead Weather, the Rackin' Tours, and now as a solo artist. I can hear just a couple notes of him playing anywhere, and I know that it's Jack White. I know his style, I know his voice of playing the guitar. But where did that style come from? Where did Jack White's voice come from as a musician and as a guitarist? This comes up for writers a lot too. We start wondering, how are we gonna find our voice? How are we gonna find our style in our writing. How do these great writers find their voice and style? What makes Jane Austen Jane Austen or Chuck Palahniuk Chuck Palahniuk or J.R.R. Tolkien J.R.R. Tolkien? What makes these writers who they are in their style and their voice coming through where you can read their writing and know that it's them that wrote the words? A lot of times when we start talking about the structure of stories and figuring out how to craft scenes, people start worrying that they're going to lose their voice and style in the process and they start asking about, well, how do you do that? How do you find your voice and your style and your writing? And what I'm telling you is, if you're asking that question, you're asking the wrong question. You're focusing on the wrong thing. And by the end of this video, you're gonna agree with me. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you should be focusing on instead. My name is Tim Grawl. I'm the CEO of StoryGrid, where we help writers build their skills, write a book and leave their legacy. My partner, Sean Coyne, is the creator and founder of StoryGrid, and everything I teach here on our channel and at StoryGrid is based on his 30 years of writing and editing experience. And several years ago, Sean got obsessed with this idea of learning how to analyze and teach line-by-line -line writing and figuring out how we can help writers level that up. And this can be hard to wrap your head around. Because if I pick up a copy of Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk and I start looking at the writing, it is extremely unique. There's lots of vivid description of horrific fights and injuries. It's a very clip style of writing, very kind of here and there and jumping around and then weaving all these things together at the same time. It can feel very jarring and confusing to just read one scene of his writing and yet, it works and it's standing the test of time. But then if I pick up a copy of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, it has a completely different voice and style. Now this book made me sob at least three times reading it. This is a fantastic book. And yet when you read it, it's a very kind of straightforward description. It doesn't get overly vivid. It doesn't get overly emotional. It almost feels like she's just looking at what happened and clearly describing what happened. But then I jump over to 2 a.m. at the Cat's Pajamas by Marie Helene Bertino, and it has a completely different voice and style. The whole book feels like I'm reading a book written as jazz music. The book is about a jazz club and singing, and yet somehow the writing fits that perfectly, and there's this unique style to the writing that I haven't seen anywhere else. And so we have each of these three different writers that are writing wonderful books that work, but they're completely different styles and voices. And how did they find that style? How did they find their voice as writers? And so as Sean started digging into this and we started looking at this line by line writing and looking at how this stuff works, we realized something. If you peel back this layer of style and voice, everything underneath is working exactly the same. Just like if you take two completely different people that look completely different, and you peel back their skin, they've got all the same things underneath, the same organs, the same skeletal structure, it's all working the same, and yet they're two completely different people. So if you take any scene out of any of these books that I've discussed, or any other book, and you peel back this idea of style and voice, what you see is all the same stuff is working underneath the surface. They all have the five commandments of storytelling. They all have a clear genre. The characters have clear competing objects of desire. There's misattuned dialogue. There's very clear description. The protagonist is the responder and the outputter. The exposition is well-timed and necessary without huge info dumps. There's a clear narrative device working throughout the entire scene. And the writer is focused on showing what happened instead of telling the reader what the characters are thinking and feeling. So it doesn't matter who you're reading, if the writing works, 
all of these elements are in there and they're working together in the right way. So what's this big secret about finding your voice and finding your style as a writer? Here's the secret. You already have it. It's you. It's your personality. It's who you are. It's who you're already bringing to the page. Your voice and your style automatically exist inside of you. This is why if you try to talk to a writer about their voice or their style or why they pick those words or how they craft their sentences, most of the time they don't know. They just write. In their mind, they're just sitting down and letting their writing come out. And really what they're doing is they're just letting their personality come through in their voice and style of writing. So if this is true, if it's just as simple as sitting down and writing and your voice and style will come out, why isn't it working for you? Why wasn't it working for me? So let's go back to my example of Jack White the guitarist and musician, my favorite guitarist and musician, he has an extremely clear style and voice to the way he plays the guitar. But what if he didn't know the basics of playing the guitar? What if he couldn't play chords or he couldn't string notes together that made sense? Or what if he didn't know how to work the pedals that were attached to his guitar? What if he couldn't tune a guitar? What if he couldn't pick the strings in the right way? What if he didn't have the fundamental skills of playing the guitar. His voice and his style would never get to come through his playing. We would never get to experience his voice and his style. This is why we are adamant that writers learn the basic fundamental skills of line by line and scene writing before they do anything else. Because this is how you find your voice and style, is you learn how to do the fundamental skills and then that automatically shows up because you're showing up at the page. What's happening right now is you don't have the fundamental skills you need as a writer to actually let your voice and style come through. And so that's what you've got to focus on. So don't worry about finding your voice and style. You already have that. All you've got to do is build up the fundamental skills that every writer, no matter who they are, what genre they write in, no matter what they write, if their writing works, they have the same fundamental skills as a writer, and those are the things you should be focusing on to learn. Now, of course, if you want to dig into those fundamental skills, I recommend subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and going back and looking at the other videos that we've put up here on our StoryGrid channel. If you're feeling stuck with your writing and you're just not sure what to work on next, we can help you figure out what that should be. Go down the description of this video. There's a link where you can grab time on our calendar and you get a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with the StoryGrid expert to help you figure out what you should be doing with your writing next. You have a voice as a writer. You already have it. And you have something worth saying, which is why you're watching this video and you're trying to level up as a writer. So stick with it. Keep working on it. You're going to get there. And thanks for being a writer. Thanks for being a part of our community here at StoryGrid. And I'll see you next time.